Computer science professor Maya Ackerman is an expert on artificial intelligence here at San Jose State University in California, and she's also a trained vocalist. She's singing a poem written by American poet Emily Dickinson with the melody composed by Alicia, an artificial intelligence-driven program that learns from thousands of songs. I've been stuck on being able to come up with original melodies for a long time. Despite the fact that I had the technical expertise for it for years, it just never occurred to me to think of a computer as being able to do anything creative, being able to help me be creative in a meaningful way. And I thought, wow, we can make a system that's going to help me write songs. And Alicia, which uses AI to generate melodies for lyrics you provide, will be coming out online and as an app sometime this year. Here's how it works. Well, in fact, let me try my first song ever. Your color would run off the page. Should I get a new job? I think so. I have really fallen in love with this song. Ackerman has held concerts using Alicia-generated songs. An art professor is even using an offshoot of Alicia, named Robocini, because it trains on the work of Italian opera composer Giacomo Puccini to create music for World of Warcraft gaming videos. Collaborating with an artificial intelligence to come up with these melodies is new, and it's really exciting. And I, when I say collaborate, I really mean collaborate. Sometimes Robocini is a bit of a jerk. Um, but most of the time, it's it, most of the time it's flexible and it accommodates what I want. Now, Alicia has a new computational collaborator, Mabel, who uses artificial intelligence to generate song lyrics. In most cases, like for this song, Mabel came up with every other line. Computers have trouble coming up with high-level structure. And so a lot of work in natural language processing, sure, it could come up with a beautiful sentence, but it's hard to come up with something that's coherent, something that makes sense. Uh, but we were able to create a system that creates coherent lyrics that tell stories. I thought this was the weakest line. We don't need no money. Ackerman says some listeners didn't like that line either, but others found it the most interesting one. There's also no definitive answer as to who should own the rights to this music since it was influenced by thousands of other songs, but built by a software's own creative choices. Mark New, CGTN, San Jose, California.